Thy kingdom come. What does it mean? Let's start with changing the word thy to your. Your kingdom come. But not your kingdom and not my kingdom, but God's kingdom. You see, we hear this phrase a lot in church. Your kingdom come. But do we actually know what it means? The kingdom of God is God's rule in action. A perfect example of this is heaven, where there's no pain and there's no suffering and the power of death has been overcome. But what does it look like to see God's kingdom come on earth as it is in heaven? Well, it's to make God king. It's to put him on the throne. And firstly, it's to do that in our lives. If we want to see God's kingdom come, we need to see it come first in our lives. That means to no longer live for ourselves, but to live for the king, to live for him, and to live for him alone. When we start to do that, we take the kingdom of God with us wherever we go. We take it to our schools, to our families, and to our workplaces. We take it to the people that we see and to the places that we encounter. When we live surrendered to God, we start to become his hands and feet and we see his kingdom come in the places that we go. We start to be full of the fruits of the spirit, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, gentleness, self-control and faithfulness. You see, these are no longer things which we practice, but they actually become part of our character. When we live like this, we start to see people come to know Jesus. We see people's lives transformed by his love. We see people set free from the chains of sin which has held them for so long. And we see them make that decision to follow him and to have eternal life. You see, we're asking for God's kingdom to come because it's not a geographical place. It's within us. And we want to see it more around us, but also we want to see it more within us. And to do that, we need to be filled with the Holy Spirit. On the day of Pentecost, the disciples sat and they waited for the Holy Spirit to come. And then he came. He came on them and moved in power through them. They took that power and they used it to spread the good news of Jesus to all nations. Today I ask you, do you want to see God's kingdom come? Do you want to see a society transformed by the love of God? Do you want to see your friends and your family and the people you encounter come to know Jesus and find an eternal life? Do you want to see people forgiven and set free from the chains of sin? Do you want to see people healed from sickness in the name of Jesus? Do you want to see people set free from addiction? Do you want to see people's lives transformed and turned around? Do you want to see his kingdom come in your life? Do you want to live for him? Do you want to live out the purpose which your creator made you for? If you do, then sit. Ask the Holy Spirit to come and wait for him to fill you.